So security deposits. There are a lot of ways to handle them and they would essentially depend on what was agreed in the lease contracts. But how do we deal with them inside QuickBooks Online? In this video, we are about to find out. Alright, so we will start by creating a security deposit account. Now, a security deposit account is a liability account by nature because this is money that is in our custody but we don't own it. Now, on your left navigation pane, go to accounting and choose chart of accounts. Now, if you don't already have a security deposit account on your default chart of accounts, just click on the green button that says new to create a new one. And on the account type, choose non-current liabilities and on the detail type choose other non-current liabilities now why non-current liabilities this is under the presumption that we will be leasing out the units to uh, long-term tenants all right so i'm gonna rename this to security deposits tenants then you can put the number series uh, that you want and then Hit on save and close. Now the next step is to create an item for a security deposit and we are going to link that into the security deposit account that we just created. All right. So we are going to go to our products and services section. Just hover on the sales section on the left navigation tab and then you go to products and services. Now <clears throat> click on the green button that says new. This time, we will be choosing among four uh, product services types. We will be choosing services. Then I'm going to name this security deposit. And then <clears throat> there are two options right here. We have I sell product and services to my customers. And then I purchase this product and services to my, my customers. So we are going to choose the first one, which is I sell this product and services to my customers. All right. So on the income account we will be choosing the uh, security deposit account that we just created right now we will hit on save and close and you're done all right now let's assume that we just received a payment for security deposit from one of our tenants now normally we enter this into quickbooks as a sales receipt but if you need to send invoices to your tenants, go ahead and create an invoice. But for this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to enter it into QuickBooks using the sales receipt window. All right. So go ahead and click on the plus new button and under customers, choose sales receipt. Now, if you, if you want to create an invoice, you have to choose invoice and then you receive payment afterwards. All right. But for this example, I'm going to show you how to do it using the sales receipt. So click on sales receipt. And now we are on the sales receipt window. Now, let's add a new customer. Let's say this is for uh, tenant one. All right. And then if you want to send the tenant an email address for the sales receipt, you can also put their email address in here. If not, you can just check on this box that says send later or you can just leave everything blank and then go to the product and services section, open the drop down button and choose security deposit. This was the item that uh, we just created earlier. All right. So I'm going to put something in the description payment for security deposit tenant one unit five then i'm gonna put a hundred dollars in here then i'm gonna hit save and close you can also hit save and send if you want to send it to your client but i'm just gonna click on save and close quickbooks will create an entry that will debit a hundred dollars to whatever cash fund that you used uh, when creating the sales receipt now let's take a look at the sales receipt that we just created now i'm gonna go to all sales then i'm gonna open the sales receipt that we just made 
Now, whatever cash fund that you choose in this deposit to box, uh, QuickBooks will increase that fund. Now, in this case, uh, QuickBooks will debit $100 to the Cash and Bank Chase account, right? And it will also increase the security deposit account. It will it will debit the Cash and Bank account for $100 and then it will credit the security deposit account for also $100. Now, I'm going to show you what happened inside the security deposit account. I'm going to go back to the chart of accounts. And then if you filter security deposit in here, it will immediately pop up. And I'm going to open the account history for security deposit tenants. And we should expect an increase for $100. So there you go. Security deposit account an increase for a hundred dollars all right so normally a security deposit is used as a reserve fund to charge future expenses related to repairs of damaged facilities and even to cover unpaid rent but again it would always depend on what was agreed in the contract but based on that premise I'm going to show you how to create an expense transaction and how to charge them against the security deposit Please note that this is not the only way to do it. This is merely a workaround method that I have grown accustomed to. But I also think that this is one of the most effective ways to do the job. Alright, so the first thing you need to do is to activate the billable expense feature. Okay, so go to the gear icon and click on account and settings. Now go to the expenses tab, click on the first field, and you have to make sure that this toggle switch right here that says make expenses and items billable is switched on now ignore the rest of the information hit on save and click on done next we are going to create an expense transaction now there are three ways to do this you can either use the expense window you can write a check or you can enter a bill depending on the nature of this transaction but for this example i am going to write a check so i'm going to go ahead and click on the plus new button and under suppliers i'm going to choose check i'm going to choose sample vendor and let's say this is being charged against our uh, chase account and let's say the check number is one two three four all right now Let's just say that this is for the repairs of some facilities in the rental property. So I'm going to choose, I mean, the only applicable account that I have right now is repairs and maintenance. Right. So I'm going to put repair of damaged facilities. And we have to make this uh, billable, let's just say, $50 and I'm gonna make this billable to uh, against tenant one which is our only tenant registered in our QuickBooks All right so I'm gonna check on this box and then we we are going to open this drop down and I'm gonna choose tenant one okay then I'm gonna hit on save and close and you're done now the next step is to charge the expense against the security deposit now this is the part where it gets a little bit unorthodox but in order to do this we are going to create a zero dollar invoice right so i'm going to show you how click, just click on the plus new button and under customer click on invoice and then this invoice is for our tenant all right so i'm going to choose tenant one and uh, the, the expense that we just created will pop up on the drawer on the right side. I'm going to click on add. All right. Now, to zero this out, we are going to use uh, the security deposit item. Okay. So, on the next line, find the security deposit item. So, it's this one. Then, I'm going to say... Uh, deduction of repairs cost against security deposit okay so i am gonna make this quantity negative and then i'm gonna put 
fifty dollars in here to zero it out and i'm gonna show you the effect on the books later on all right so i'm gonna click on save and close and you're done now let's go to the security deposit account go to accounting and click on chart of accounts now find the security deposit account which is this one security deposit tenants and on the drop down arrow i am gonna choose run report now we should expect a deduction of 50 dollars from the security deposit amount that we have received right so if you look at it we have received uh, a payment for security deposit amounting to 100 dollars and then we have deducted 50 dollars pertaining to the repairs of the damaged facility leaving us with the a balance of the security deposit amounting to 50 dollars all right so the next scenario would be charging an unpaid rent against the security deposits all right so let's just say that there is a 30 dollar uh, unpaid rent from tenant one and we both agreed that it's going to be charged against the security deposit and the remaining 20 would be refunded back to the client at the very end of uh, the, cro the contract all right so it's basically the same principle it's the same process we are still going to use uh, a zero dollar invoice okay so i'm gonna go back to the plus new button and under customers i'm gonna choose invoice and then i am gonna choose tenant one on the customers field and now under the products and services we are going to locate the rent uh, income if we don't have this obviously we don't have that i'm gonna click on add new then i'm gonna choose service and i'm gonna name this rent income right and then under the income account i am gonna find rent income and most probably we don't have this one yet so i'm gonna create another account so on the account type i'm gonna choose income and then on the detail type i'm gonna choose uh, other primary income but if your quickbooks is set up for a rental property business uh, some other accounts that i mean some other detail type that's much more applicable to this one is going to be available right so for this one temporarily i'm gonna choose other primary income so i'm gonna name this rent rental income okay so i'm gonna hit on save and close then we are going to hit on save and close to finalize the new item all right so this is going to be rent income for the month month of let's say october 2021 right so for the rate i'm gonna enter 30 dollars now this is a zero dollar invoice and in order to zero out the balance due we are going to use the same method which is uh, the security deposit item and we're gonna put it into the negative amount so i'm gonna find the security deposit item then i'm gonna put on the description something like uh, deduction of unpaid rent against security deposit whatever description you find appropriate all right so again on the quantity i am gonna make this negative and then i am going to put 30 right here to zero it out all right now i'm gonna hit on save and close and then let's refresh this report right here and as you can see we now have two deductions against the security deposit one is for the uh, repairs of the damaged facility for fifty dollars and the other one is for the unpaid rent of thirty dollars uh, leaving us with a balance of security deposit amounting to twenty dollars now this amount will be refunded back to the tenant at the end of their contract and i'm going to show you later how to do it All right, so the tenant contract finally comes to an end and now we are going to refund the remaining 20 dollars 
uh, of security deposit back to our tenant. But before we do that, we're going to have to take care of a few things. Now, follow me to the Sales tab on the left navigation pane and choose Products and Services. Now, find the security deposit item and click on Edit. Now, just a short explanation. This box right here that says, I sell this product or services to my customers. This allows this specific item to appear on all of our sales templates, which means our sales receipts and our invoices. Now, if this is the only box that we have checked, this will not appear when we are creating any expense transaction, which means check or uh, expense or a bill. But when it comes to refunding security deposits into our tenant, we're going to have to write a check or use the expense window or enter a, a bill, right? Now, that being said, we are going to have to check this box as well, which says, I purchased this product or serv services from our customer. That way, it will also appear on our expense transactions. Now, on the expense account, we are also going to use the same account on the income account, which is the security deposit tenants. Then we hit on save and close. Now I'm going to create a check for the refund of the security deposit. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the plus new button. And under, under suppliers, I'm going to choose check. Then let's uh, use the tenant one customer account. And I'm going to use check number one, two, three, four, five. And now I am going to choose security deposit on the i mean not here because this is for uh, ledger categories we're gonna enter it right here on the item details and i'm gonna find the security deposit item and then, and then i'm gonna put on the description something like a uh, refund of remaining security deposit right so i'm gonna put 20 dollars in here and then I'm going to hit on save and close. Now to check, let's go back to our account, our uh, accounting chart of accounts. Then let's look for our security deposit ledger account, which is this one. On the drop down list, I'm going to choose run report. And then as you can see, we are now left with a balance of zero. So just to recap, we have received $100. Uh, we charged $50 for the repairs of damaged facilities. We have uh, deducted $30 for an unpaid rent and the remaining was refunded to our tenant using a check. Now, the security deposit balance for our tenant uh, falls down to zero and that sums up the entire workflow for uh, security deposits from moving in and moving out insofar as, in, as security deposits are concerned. So that's it. If you have any more questions or content suggestions, please leave your thoughts on the comment section down below. If you like this video, please don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe. Again, I am Andrew Molo. I am a CPA and a QuickBooks Pro Advisor. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Oh, 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 oh,